Well, I might just still need six here. So after that horrific night, we finally, you know, well, finally nothing. We finished. We drove off those aliens, you know, with our drive-by shootings. Anyways, so you may be wondering where's Krimi and Romani? Well, they're in the gable. I mean, gable. That makes a shitload of sense. Oh, star. They're in the ref barn. Oof. Does barn have a name? I don't think so. Anyways, regardless, let's put on the let's take out the cafe mask for a moment. Now, if we talk to them... Oh my, hello! Romani's going to take our milk to Clock Town, too! You're looking after the place. Wait, what? The cows would be all alone, otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving at 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. You're letting your younger sister, who's like 8 years old, protect the place? What if those two dudes come in here with, like, pitchforks and shit and just, like, I don't know, kill her? Wow, that was dark. Well, this is Majora's Mask. I'm going in my wagon tonight. I mean, yeah, town, into town. Would you like a ride? Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already heard this. Romani wants to go, too. You can't. Wow, what a bitch. Oh. Oh, look at that little adorable face. How can you say no to that, you biatch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, you know, she would say something else with the cafe mask, but I guess not. <laughs> Look at the cow! He's like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, it was just strangely amusing. Uh, no techo far. Okay, it's not here. So you have to go outside. Alright. So, I'm playing Song of Double Time, obviously, so we can get to, uh, 6 o'clock? And yes, you can skip that cutscene. I mean, I know it's like a second long, not really, but you can skip it. <laughs> My phone is like all the way out in the distance. Where the hell did you get the donkey? Oh, good evening! I'm going to town now to deliver the milk. Would you like a ride? I'm gonna say no, because I want to get that mask off. Yeah, as she just said, if you wait until 7, she'll just leave without you. But we're going to go with her. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. Now, this is actually kind of relaxing. I don't know why. It just always relaxes me. Just two people conversating. I don't know if that's weird of me. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to take care of the ranch. I didn't read anything get a chance to read it. I'm not pressing A, like, it's the developers. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's been practicing using a bow, saying it's going to stop the ghost. So you mean aliens? Say, what are the town folks saying about that big moon? They really just fly through the text. I mean, I'm, I'm not the strongest reader, but whatever. In town, I have a friend, I have a friend. Her name is Anju. Anju, the day after her wedding, is the day at, tomorrow is the day after her wedding, Jesus. Shit! That's right! I forgot! Um... I wonder if that thing will fall. That's right! I forgot to mention a few parts ago. Um... Kefe, Anju, and Kremia. There is a love triangle. That's right. Kremia actually loves Kefe. But, you know, her best friend is marrying him. So, sh there's a lot of jealousy with, uh, you know, around here. And Romani's noticed it, too. I don't know how to, you know, get her to... Speak to me about it. Now she's saying, get your bow out. Alright. Yeah, so there's like some love triangle and stuff. Probably something you didn't know. First, Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take the, this detour through ugly country. Really? Did you really just call that? Call this country ugly country? Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through here as fast as I can. I mean, as fast as the donkey can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. What else would they be? Actually, you know, that's a pretty good qu statement. Question. <laughs> I love her facial expression when, like, you say no. She's like, bitch, listen up. Uh, what I mean by that is these guys can, you know, fuck the milk. Let's rape the girl. And if you fail, they do rape her. Anyways, bah! 
I don't know, I just love that. It's okay, Luigi! I know you're upset about Mario always being, you know, always taking the spotlight. There's no need to be angry about it! Oh. I know you're upset. But, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, just keep wailing on them with the, these arrows here. Now, I think after six hits, you fail, and yeah. So just keep wailing on, you know, these guys. Well, Lu the Luigi's, I should say. I mean, you have unlimited arrows. It's not like you know the uh, alien invasion where you're not, where you, where you have, where you have limited arrows. Jesus, my speech is, uh, my speech is awful. It's not that hard. I mean, I've had worse, but, you know, whatever. During this cutscene, you can still shoot arrows. See, look at that. I'm still shooting at them. That's hilarious. <laughs> Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but please accept my thanks. You got the Romani's mask. Oh yeah. Ta-da! By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. Uh, that mask is, on is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. So therefore, I won't feel creepy when I fuck your brains out. Great excuse. <laughs>